Hey, last person. Oh, Derwin, I like you. Nice to meet. Oh, hang on, I gotta do a nerd voice. Nice to meet you. My name is Derwin. Thar. You're Tyler, right? You just moved in. <laughs> I've been looking forward to meeting you. I'm hoping we'll be good friends. I will always remember November 14th, 2014. Because that's the day we met. Thar. <laughs> that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> oh my god, that was awesome. Uh, can I get up out of here? No, it's a trap. It's a trap. <laughs> Admiral, Admiral Akbar said so. Alright, so that's, uh, I think that's everyone. Because that was one, two, three... Four, five, six. Yeah, that should be six people. Because who's this? This is, a uh, Harry. And who's Harry? Did I meet Harry? Maybe I missed someone. No, he was the... Yeah, he was the hippo. I just, as soon as I walked in, I was like, yeah, he's the hippo. Okay, um... So let's go introduce ourselves to the... To the Able Sisters, and then we'll go into the museum here. Meet the, the owl, who is the curator of the museum. Pretty cool guy, I like him. Only wake during the nights, just because it makes sense. <laughs> Hi there! Welcome to the handmade fashion palace of the Able Sisters. Well, hi. Uh, okay, good. There's nothing, nothing too great today. It's kind of disappointing when you come in here first day and it's like, well, really good things, but can't do anything about it. Yeah, so Sable never really says much. Oh, yes. What can I do? Okay, so no, nothing. Alright, so I guess it was more so just saying hello. Hello? Saying hello to her. I will do. Will do. Lego! Okay, so let's go say hi to the owl. I don't remember his name. I never remember this guy's name. I know I should, but I just, I never do. Starts with an O, though. Oh, no, it doesn't. Blathers. <laughs> Woohoo! Welcome to the. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Welcome to the Oblivion Museum. Make yourself at home, won't you? Now then, may I assist you? You have but to ask. I am at your service. Uh, no, never mind. Okay, so if you ever have a fossil to donate or anything, you can always bring it to him. So I think I'm gonna. You know, every fossil that I get, unless it's. Duplicates because you can't donate duplicates. Uh, I'm gonna bring it to him just because that's what I usually do Okay, so time to meet the mayor and then I think that should be everyone unless we go to Tom and he says hey You didn't meet someone Which isn't too uncommon. You know what Tortimer has to have his own. He, he has to have his own voice. I Think I'm gonna do an old guy voice You whippersnapper who are you and while I'm asking questions what is your favorite animal? Uh, well, off this list, I would say a turtle. Watch this. Ho ho! I like the cut of your jib, young man. Well, we'll get along just fine. Yes. Er, uh, what were we talking about again? Um, um, Mr. Mayor, that's our newest. Oh, yeah, let me do it like this. That's our newest regis resistant. <laughs> what? That's our newest resident, Tyler. What? Say it. Uh, come to think of it, I did hear something about that. Or did I? Who can remember? Anywho, I'm the mayor of Oblivion, Tortimer. At any rate, you should come see me on holidays and other event days. I'll be waiting for you in the square front of the town hall. Yes, waiting and watching. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, how am I gonna do this? That voice. <laughs> okay, Nook. So Nook, uh what do I do now? I know there's a we have to deliver some stuff at some point and it was like planting. At least that's how I remember from the DS. It's been a long time. I play. I think I played the DS version more recently than I have this version. Uh, so you said hello to everyone, yes? Try to remember everyone's name and faces. That should help you adjust 
to this new town. So, you're just about to start your exciting new part-time job, yes? Yes, yes, very good. First, I want, I want you to change into your work clothes. Strictly speaking, what I mean by this, or what I mean by that is the uniform for part-time workers, which we never see ever, ever again, because it's just a one-time thing. Let me know when you're done changing, hmm? So if you go ahead and uh, jump into your inventory here, I think it's this. You drag and drop it onto him. And there we go. Now we're a part-time worker. Okay, Nook, I'm done. Ah, yes. That looks quite fitting on you. Now, let's get to work, hmm? The first thing I want you to do is plant these flower seeds and tree saplings outside the shop. Sometimes brightening up the outside of our store of your store is just the thing to perk up business, yes? I would agree. I would agree. So make sure it looks really nice out there. And let me know if you're done, yes? So we're gonna go ahead and do this, but one thing, I noticed that there's a fishing rod and a shovel in the background. If we can go around to certain trees and shake them. Every once in a while, bags of money or bells will fall out. And if I'm able to find enough, maybe we can buy ourselves a shovel by the end of this. No guarantees. I mean, I'm going to try, but it might be kind of tough. So then, can I just drag and drop? No, I can't. Oh, plant. And we'll go ahead and plant this here too. Oh, can I not? No. Plant. Now we'll plant a tree. Now right here. No trees here. Plant. And plant some flowers over here. Oops. Yeah, just because I'm really close to the sensor bar, it's kind of hard to... Uh, Kind of hard to actually move it around properly. Plus, my microphone's in the way. <laughs> that doesn't help much either. Uh, I'm going to plant a tree here. And I guess one down here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around to these trees and shake them. Because, like I said, every once in a while, money will fall out. I don't know if it'll fall out in the beginning here. I'm hoping it will because it will save me a lot of time and effort. See, there we go. So how much is that? It's only 100 bells. I mean, is that 100 or is that 10? 100. I don't remember how much a, uh, a shovel is. Let's get 500 to be safe. I think it might actually be 500. So I'm going to go around a few of these trees and just keep shaking them. Because sometimes you can get really lucky and get like a couple in a row. And it'll, it'll very rarely... I guess, I don't want to say very rarely, but you, every once in a while, you'll get a tree that has an item in it. And, uh, whether that item is any good or not, I don't know, but... It is still a cool thing to happen. Oh, come on! Please! Anything! My kingdom for money! Yo! There we go! Gimme, gimme, gimme! Nom, 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 nom! <laughs> Yo! Another coin! Yoink! Okay, so what is that, 300 now? Now we just need... Uh, I'm gonna go for two more. Like I said, I don't know how much it actually is, so I could be off. It could be like 5,000, which I don't think it is, but... It might actually only be 200 now that I'm thinking about it. But any whoozle, we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep looking, keep shaking. Till we get something. There we go. Come on, feeling lucky. No! <laughs> I felt really good about those last few trees. Hmm. There we go. So we're gonna go ahead and stop there. Go ahead and clean up my inventory a little bit. There we go. And then, uh, 500. Now, something tells me it's not 500, but like I said, I really don't know how much money it is. Just because I don't play the game enough. But, oh, I destroyed one of the flowers I planted. Aw. 
Made it look nice and pretty out there, yes? I had some misgivings, but I guess I may trust- uh, I guess I must try to trust your decorating sense, Tyler. So, now I guess it's time to put you to work like a real part-timer. Hmm. Maybe now you can deliver a few things for me. Please take this piece of furniture to Derwin. Oh, Derwin, my best friend. I like Derwin. Because I, I like his voice. <laughs> my customers... Uh, okay, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll get it to him. Yeah, and we'll come back. I don't know. No, I'm not going to loaf. Don't worry, man. I'm not going to loaf. Whatever loaf means. means like, float, like, oh, I'm loafing around. <laughs> exactly. That's what loafing around is. So kids, don't loaf around because you sound just like me. <laughs> Derwin. Is this your house? No, that's the elephant. So I saw Derwin around here. There he is! Is something the matter, Tyler? Mail call. Oh, that was weird. Boop. I gotta work on getting his voice correct. But Thanks a lot! I was <laughs> I was waiting for this. I don't know why you're the one delivering it, but I'm just happy it's here. Okay. I can't let you go empty-handed. So I have this mountain bike. <laughs> this mountain bike. What in the world? Uh, do you know how to set it up? Oh, don't worry. It's not rocket science or anything. Just plop the furniture in your room and press A to move it or change the direction. If you want to open the dresser drawers or turn stuff on, just face it and press A. Even, uh, even I got the hang of it. I'm sure you'll figure it out soon enough. Oh, right. That thing you just delivered is actually a birthday present for my mom. There. <laughs> Speaking of which, when's your birthday? My birthday, my good friend, is 0916. Boom. Yes. September 16th? You're a Virgo! Don't say that to me. There. <laughs> That's right. Cool. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> After per per gelato, or gelato, birthdays are my favorite things. <laughs> After per gelato. I love any chance I get to wear a party hat. Anyway, I'll make a note of your birthday and try my best to think of a good present. Thanks for the delivery. Good luck with the rest of your unpacking. Thor. <laughs> <laughs> kind of hurts me to do that. <laughs> I get a lot of, uh, it's just, it's way more, uh, vocal intensive than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I very rarely do, like, these many voices. I like doing voices, like, at home and stuff, but <laughs> never like this. You're back! Ah, yes, back. And you made the delivery.